Today I want to talk about how we can do an experiment to see how the small intestine functions and why enzymes are so important for absorption in the small intestine. An easy way to see how the small intestine functions is to use dialysis tubing. In the dialysis tubing experiment, the dialysis tube represents the small intestine. The tubing has a semi-permeable membrane, just like our small intestine does, that will allow simple, broken down molecules out while not letting anything in. Inside of the tube, you put an enzyme like amylase, which is released by the pancreas, and something to break down, like a starch solution. Remember, starch is a polysaccharide chain of sugars held together that could be broken down into monosaccharides, which are otherwise known as simple sugars. Now we need something to represent the bloodstream, which is where all those tiny broken down molecules go after leaving the small intestine. In this case, the bloodstream is going to be the water that we're going to set the dialysis tube into. When the enzyme amylase breaks down the starch solution into smaller pieces, the tiny monosaccharides, aka simple sugars, escape the tube and go into the water. When the monosaccharides enter the water, that's like when simple sugars go into the bloodstream from the small intestine after being broken down by the enzyme. We know that simple sugars left the tubing because we mix a sample of the water with a chemical indicator known as Benedict's solution. Benedict's solution will turn orange, yellow, red, or a brownish color when mixed with simple sugars overheat, which it would in this case. We would also need to test the inside of the tube to make sure the starch was actually broken down. For this, we use Lugol's iodine. Lugol's iodine is a chemical indicator that reacts with starch to form a dark blue or black colored solution. In this case, because the enzyme was in the tube to break down the starch, the Lugol's iodine would stay a dark red color because no starch would be left. It would have all been turned into simple sugars by the enzyme. Now, we can make sure that the enzyme is what caused the simple sugars to leave the dialysis tube by putting starch solution in a new dialysis tube, but this time we're not going to use the enzyme. The second part of the experiment that we're doing now shows what would happen to the small intestine absorption if the small intestine didn't have enzymes. In this case, the water tested from outside the dialysis tube would be mixed with Benedict's and not change color since there are no simple sugars. This is because the enzyme wasn't there to break anything down. When testing the inside of the dialysis tube with Lugol's iodine, there would be a dark blue or black color formed because it reacts with the polysaccharide starch. In conclusion, we can use the dialysis tube experiment to show that when starch is broken down by the enzyme amylase in the small intestine, the simple sugars resulting from the breakdown of starch are free to move into the bloodstream. When there aren't enzymes, starch will stay inside the small intestine and won't be broken down, so nothing will be absorbed into the bloodstream. Check out these sources for more information.